Welcome back everyone, hope everyone's safe and practicing physical distancing. The world Dota 2 is constantly changing and we're right there when it happens. Virtus Pro announced their secondary team called VP Prodigy. It will be led by Igor, Epileptic Kid and he will be joined by the following 4 players. Epileptic Kid played for the main squad during the Dream League Season 13 Major and finished 13-16. The start of ESL1 Los Angeles for EU and CIS began this weekend, and it also marked the end for the other regions for ESL. The other region has small tournaments compared to the one starting, but they all provided quality Dota. Let's begin in North America, a four-team tournament where the best team gets a direct invite into the Grand Finals, and the second and third team play in the best of 3 to see who gets the other spot. After the group stage is settled, Quincy Crew came out on top with a 3 0 record with Evil Geniuses and Crazy second and third. EG defeated Crazy in a 2 1 series and went to take on the best team from the groups, Quincy Crew. EG quickly jumped out on the 2 0 lead, continuing their momentum from the win against Crazy. Quincy managed to get a game back in a quick 20 minute match to force a game 4. Game 4 was a war of attrition. It lasted 54 minutes and Quincy Crew couldn't defend their base against Evil Geniuses and Mega Creeps. EG becomes the first ESL1 LA online tournament winners. Two. Now and the they jump gotta go for it now. The they it's have not to make enough. some sort of commitment. The Antis is now going to be pop on Quinn as well. They're going to try and go for MSS. The Antis is gone, so they immediately jump with the Panglier. He buys back a stun out from the Cookie. A nice There's two man so stun. Many creeps the everywhere. Wars are going to be dying soon. Yuar is going to be the focus of this fight, and he does have Divine Raper, but now he's been Spirit Vessel. Now he's being chased. His Lincoln's is broken. He's Walrus punched up in the air. He's trying to get out somehow. A snowball keeps him stunned out, and he is dead, and he is gone. And Quincy Crew, they're out. Evil geniuses will be your champions wow. for the North American ESL 1 LA Online Tournament. Over in South America, a similar story to NA with four teams, but this time, another new top contender has risen to the top. No Ping Esports came out of the groups with a 3-0 record and went straight to the Grand Finals. On the flip side, Thunder Predator was having a great start to 2020 and dropped 0-3 and missed out on the playoffs. Beast Coast and Furia Esports play in the playoffs and Furia took game 1 but Beast Coast found their mojo and defeated them 2-1. In the Grand Finals, Beast Coast didn't look back and continued their momentum against No Pain East Force, defeating them 3-1. It's the Spectral, they, they do, if they just kill the PL here, the game pretty much ends. He does make it uphill, here comes the boat to mitigate damage, XD. he's stuck. It's DX. XD, XD oh. from Hector. Kek W. Yep, if you were forgotten, game two. Well, the game's not over yet. They're still fighting. It's going to be 80. Question mark right coming out from down. the Batrider as Yo. his mid laner's dying, and so is he. <laughs> G question mark from Hector. GG, says Theolacor. Donde estas, Schofield asks, where are you fr Is that where are you from, right? Go say God, he does. So, God. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know, though, there was. In Southeast Asia, Fnatic was the favorite team to win the tournament, but following the group stages, fans were having second thoughts. Team Adra went 3-0 and Geek Fan went 0-3. Boom Esports finished second and Fnatic narrowly missed the playoff. However, this marks the start of Fnatic's run. A good team will always come back, and the Dota Summit 12 winners made their mark. They defeated Boom Esports 2-1 and went on to sweep the grand finals against Team Adra 3-0. does have it, but What's still holding on. They've got absolutely nothing, it feels like. Ice 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 gets another easy pick off. And Adroit have just run out of steam. They had such a good group stage. But unfortunately for them, they just do not have an answer for Grand Finals. Fnatic, Ice 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 having some fun with the Arena Blood. Gets the side spear, the hip spear, I guess we're going to call that one. And there's the Echo Slam. Off of the Shaker, nicely played to catch out three, but they just don't have the follow-up damage. Only a kill to the jabs as Ice 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 is still just standing in the middle of the entire Adroit draft here. Natsumi on the troll is trying to wail away <laughs> on him, gets the Fervor Sex, but he's just tickling. Ice 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 says, what, what is this? They're OD on OD. You've yep. got an OD on each side. Well, this was dominant. All three games felt like we just saw carbon copies of each other. Congratulations to Fnatic. Adroit. In China, with six teams, they did have a playoff bracket, although small, but it was exciting. After a surprising win in the Wii Save Tournament, PSG LGD drops out of contention with a 1-4 record along with Invictus Gaming. Royal never gave up Rose to the top with a 5-0 record, Eho and Newbie were the next two with a 3-2 record, and Vichy Gaming just made the playoffs with a 2-3 record. Royal never gave up stayed hot and knocked Eho into a lower bracket with a 2-1 series win. In the lower bracket, Newbie surprises everyone and knocked out Vichy Gaming 2-1. Next up for Newbie was E-Home. 
Yihong won the first game, and that was all four of them. The resilient newbie squad fought back and defeated Yihong to move on to face RNG. RNG wasn't as easy for newbie. The well-rested RNG took the first two games before giving one back to newbie, and in game four, they closed out the online tournament with a 28-minute win. RNG wins the Chinese ESL1 online tournament. The newly restructured newbie team showed a lot of promise, and if there's ever another major qualifiers, they will be dangerous. Moogie's trying to front line for this one. Faith has a hook shot in two seconds, but they lack damage and they now lack a Nature's Prophet. Oh, he's getting himself out of there. They've just left him. He's okay, he's died. Alive. Still okay, finally falls. Him. The buyback will come. Faith will drop and there's a dieback on clock as the Centaur is dueled up and out you go. Newbie, it's all over. RNG, about a 3 1 this best of five. RNG just looked like the better team throughout the tournament. They were undefeated in a group stage, right? Yeah. They lost like one they game. Lost two, and that was it. They lost two individual games. They didn't drop a single series. They didn't drop a single series. In other news, we played race 68k during the duration of the tournament, and the organizers funded 120k. Alliance now needs two new players. Adrian Fala Trinks and Nita33 Shapria has left the team. 33 will be playing as a stand in for OG for the ESL1 tournament. And in a tweet longer by Fada, he notes that he was surprised too. 33 and I were removed from Alliance, Fada said. This came as quite a surprise to me, and I feel pretty disappointed since we created the team together. Fada did end by saying he and 33 will look to rebuild a new team. So the next day, not sure if it's a joke, but Alliance announced the return of Gustav S4 Magnuson on April 1st. Let's hope this isn't a joke. S4 did play for Alliance on Sunday along with OGC's Andreas Zibe Regnimal, who will be the stand-in for the duration of ESL. Has the Wukong, doesn't want to commit it. He's 1v4 right now. I don't think it's happening. He's going to try for it though. Pretty scary with the Orbit Destruction Deso, but they get the call. They're kiting him nicely. They'll chop him up. That's three. And in other, other Dota news, Artifact 2.0 will be receiving a beta. They listed some of the bigger changes. One of them is the focus to make the game easier to pick up and play. And it also sounds like there's a new way to buy and sell cars. Check out the roadmap. And remember guys, don't leave your house unless you have to to ensure physical distancing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.